This is Akashwani, the news read by Afuga Park. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has reached Pokhran in Rajasthan. He is currently witnessing Bharat Shakti, a synergized demonstration of indigenous defense capabilities in the form of a tri services, live fire, and maneuver exercise. The exercise Bharat Shakti is displaying an array of indigenous weapon systems and platforms as a demonstration of the prowess of the country. Earlier in a social media post, the Prime Minister said this program will feature weapon systems and more which are vital in the quest to make India self-reliant in defense. He said Pokhran has an emotional attachment with every Indian. Government has launched a new portal for persons who are eligible for Indian citizenship under Citizenship Amendment Act CAA 2019. People who want to apply can log on to indiancitizenshiponline.nic.in. Union Home Ministry is also going to launch a mobile app CAA 2019 to facilitate applications through mobile app. The Citizenship Amendment Rule 2024 under the CAA 2019 came into effect yesterday. CAA will allow persecuted minorities, Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, Jain, Parsi and Christian communities from Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Pakistan eligible for Indian citizenship. India has rejected China's comment over Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Arunachal Pradesh. External Affairs Ministry spokesperson Ranthir Jaiswal ex- asserted, Arunachal Pradesh was, is and will always be an integral and inalienable part of India. Jaiswal said Indian leaders visit Arunachal Pradesh from time to time as they visit other states of India. He added that Chinese side has been made aware of this consistent position on several occasions. The Supreme Court today agreed to hear a case of six disqualified rebel Congress MLAs from Himachal Pradesh next Monday. At the evening, at the beginning of hearing, a bench of Justice Sanjeev Khanna, Justice Jepankar Datta and Justice P.K. Mishra asked why they did not move the High Court first. The six rebel MLAs of the Congress party had moved the top court challenging their disqualification by the Speaker from the Himachal Pradesh Assembly. They were disqualified after abstaining from budget vote. They had also cross-voted in favor of the Rajya, BJP Rajya Sabha candidate in the Rajya Sabha elections. In line with India's net zero ambitions, the coal sector is aiming to ramp up renewable energy capacity to over 9 GW by 2030. The sector is working in the direction of updated nationally determined contribution, NDC target. The aim is to achieve 50% cumulative electric power installed capacity from non-fossil fuel-based energy resources by 2030. The Ministry of Coal has already set up an ambitious net-zero electricity consumption plan for coal lignite PSUs. The Ministry is actively promoting the deployment of both rooftop solar and ground-mounted solar projects across mining facilities. Presently, leading coal companies like Coal India Limited CIL, NLC, India Limited, NLCIL and SCCL have installed approximately 1700 MW of solar capacity. They have supplemented by an additional 51 megawatt from windmills. With the Net Zero Electricity Consumption Initiative, the Ministry says it aims to establish a gold standard for sustainable energy practices. Union Health Minister Dr. Manshuk Mandavia today launched a credit program for small-scale entrepreneurs to set up and upscale PM Bharatiya Jan Oshadi Kendras. Under the program, Small Industries Development Bank of India, SIDBI, will provide low-interest loans to entrepreneurs without any physical guarantee. Addressing the gathering on the occasion in New Delhi, Dr. Mandavia said the no-interest feature of the program will also help small-scale entrepreneurs to expand, upscale, and upgrade their Jan Oshadi Kendras. He added that the loan credit up to 4 lakh rupees will be provided under the program. The minister highlighted that the move will be pivotal to realizing the government's target of operationalizing 25,000 Kendras and help boost employment. That's all in this news bulletin. Namaskar.